Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you are watching VR Gamer Dude and today we're going to be jumping into my Quest Pro to shoot a little virtual pool. That's right. So today we are going to be taking a look at 4 VR Pool and you know, I got to tell you, I have loved all of the other titles that 4 VR Games has thrown out there. It started with 4 VR Bowling and then they put out 4 VR Darts and then 4 VR Cornhole and now we're gonna shoot some pool. So I can't wait to jump in and take a look and obviously I can't wait to take you guys with me while I do. So let's go. All right, here we are in 4VR pool. And you know, we are in the ever so familiar 4VR lobby as well. And I say that because, well, we're four games in now and each one of the games has the exact same lobby with a different coat of paint. Not gonna knock 4VR games on that. Obviously, it's probably so they can rapidly get these out. But, you know, four games in, guys, yeah, I'd like a new lobby every once in a while. However, it is functional. Uh, we've got our guy over here serving beer. Hello, sir, save me one of those. I am definitely gonna need one of those when I'm done here. Uh, we've got our pro shop over here. So in the pro shop, that's where we're gonna get our different cues here. We're gonna earn those by playing, and then we're gonna have the coins here that we can buy them with. Uh, uh, show our level there, uh, some, you know, just little tips on how to aim and, you know, how to apply spin. Uh, we've got our jukebox over here, which also has uh, some of our favorite creators here. It's my good friend Matt, BMF VR. Definitely check him out for all things Quest. Uh, I'm not on the board, but you know, I'll get there one of these days. Um, we've also got the, uh, the entrance to our different pool halls here, uh, different events that might be going on. We've got our global and friends only leaderboards, my trophy case here, definitely almost time to pull out the ugly Oculus sweater there because it is getting super cold here in Missouri. As you can see, I'm wearing my hoodie right now. Uh, and you know, I thought this was kind of cool. They, they actually give you the ability to jump into their other games if you own them from right here within the game. So, uh, you know, just basically not having to jump back out to your quest home if you wanted to say go play darts or bowl or play cornhole. Now, I, I haven't bought cornhole yet. Uh, it's, it's the only one of their games I have not checked out. Definitely going to remedy that here pretty soon. So, all right, in the main game here, we've got multiplayer. Um, I normally don't do multiplayer when I'm on a video unless it's with a friend and it's super late at night uh, So doubt any of my friends are gonna be up. So we're probably just gonna jump into the single player here We've also got pass and play So if you are playing with a friend you you can just pass your headset back and forth and we've got our tutorial So gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial real quick uh, Just to kind of refresh. I did only just play this for the first time the other day and to kind of show you guys how it all works. So let's do that real quick. Welcome to the Forever Pool tutorial. Listen up, Ace. So I can call you Ace, right? Ah, no problemo. You look more like a champ. Yeah, I am a champ. So listen up, champ, because I'm going to teach you three key skills. Nice. How to move around the hall, how to move around the table, and how to play pool. Are you ready to learn? Yeah, I am ready to learn, Patrick Warburton. And you know, I gotta say, that is super freaking cool that they got Patrick Warburton to do voiceover in here. So, yeah, I love that guy. He's just the smoothest voice, man. So, all right. Here's how you move around the hall. Teleport by pushing forward on the controller thumbstick to pick a spot. Then, release to jump there. Turn by pushing the thumbstick left or right. Step backward by pushing the thumbstick backward. Oh, oh. Baby's first steps. I'm so proud. Nice, I'm gonna take my first steps. Let's go visit the coffee bar. Now, it does have smooth movement. Uh, I've already actually enabled that, as you guys saw when I was kind of whizzing around the lobby there. But for the tutorial here, it does have me locked to teleport, so no problem there. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to the coffee bar Let's here. Let's head down to the pool table now. Okay, so, hey ladies. How you doing? You having a little coffee there and a little muffin, you know? Are y'all going to watch me play pool? Okay. Um, I'm going to go do that now. So everybody stay tuned. Here we go. Teleport by pushing forward on the controller thumbstick to pick a spot. Then release to jump. 
Move around the table by pushing the thumbstick left or right. Wow! Woo! Look at that. Wow! Woo! That's right. Practice teleporting across the okay. table. Cross and table, cross table, cross moves. table. Circling side step, side step, side step. There you go. So that's how we get around the, the table, table, boys and girls. Pushing the thumbstick backward, then come back by pushing forward to teleport back. Okay, step back, step forward, step back, step forward, step back, step forward. So don't know why I have to do it like three times, now, but. Let's play some pool. But first things first, are you a lefty or a righty? Oh, I'm a righty, man. Definitely. Here's already. how to play pool. All you gotta do is aim, lock, and shoot. All right, aim, Simple. lock, and shoot. Now, let's sink these four balls, and old Sly will talk you through. He <laughs> said four balls. So, okay, let's go ahead and sink some four balls here. So, all right. So, in order to do this, uh, we've got our little short stick here. It's not actually short, but it's like, man, I feel like I could whack somebody with the back of this. So, normally, if I was playing pool, I would not be, you know, as queued up. My, my backhand would be a little farther back on the stick. So, that is kind of jarring. I'm not going to lie. That, that feels a little odd to me, uh, but uh, eh, maybe that's just me. So, okay, the other thing, in, and I'm, before I do this, I'm going to say right off the bat, I have played played you know other pool games over the years uh, in VR uh, where you literally could just grab the stick and you know you, it would lock to one hand but then you had freedom of just you know playing and and with this we we've got to actually do a couple things so we've got to pull a trigger that's going to get us down on the table here then it allows us to aim here. We've got our little aiming reticle. And then we're going to pull the right hand trigger to All right, lock champ, the ball. Keep holding the trigger and move your rear arm back. There we go. And it. now we can shot. give it a little whack there. And uh, that's how you shoot. So, not going to lie, it doesn't feel 100% natural doing that. So, that, that is the only thing that I'm kind of finding as a little bit of a letdown in this. Uh, is that I really, really wish that I just had freedom of, of movement here with the stick and wasn't relegated to this trigger, trigger, lock thing. So, all right. And, and I'd also, and I, you know, you may be able to do it in the options. I haven't really looked, but it, it, to me, the, the, the reticle here on the table kind of showing me where the ball is going to go is kind of cheater, uh, you know, um, maybe at a harder difficulty level, maybe. I don't know. Um, I probably should have checked that out before I started this review here, um, but definitely something that I, I wish wasn't there. Or at least I hope you can turn off. Because it kind of just... Oh, well, <laughs> as I say that and I completely miss the ball here. But it, it kind of just makes it a little too easy sometimes. <clears throat> okay, well, you know, you can get that out of my face here. Maybe I could aim. There we go. Nice shot, champ. Here's how to place the cue ball. Okay. Aim at the table where you'd like to place the ball. Then pull the trigger. Well, that's simple enough. So, all right, let's go ahead and place it right there. And give it a nice little whack. And boom. And again, and boom, and one more time, oh, well, I guess I don't have to, so there we go. All right, adding spin here, so locking the position, and then <clears throat> we hold the grip here to get a little spin the basics, on the ball. you champ. Time to go sing some balls in pockets and enjoy some forever pool. Uh, that, that's for VR pool, sir. 
Uh, not forever. All right, so there was a little bit of the tutorial with Patrick Warburton doing a voiceover. You know, like I said, got to say, I love the fact that they got him for this. Uh, yeah, I love that guy's voice. So, all right, real quick, let's go ahead and jump in and do a single-player match. Now, um, I have already unlocked a few of the different halls here. So, you know, we've got Brooklyn, we've got Seattle, uh, we've got Paris, and we've got Big D, which I haven't unlocked, my home state of Texas there, and last but not least, Chicago. So since we did the tutorial in Brooklyn here, let's go ahead and check out Seattle. I'm kind of digging this. It's kind of got that old school arcade feel to it. So, all right, let's go. <laughs> nice. Oh, I love it. Okay, all the, all the pastel colors and the carpet and uh, just kind of the black light look in here. So this is great. Let's go ahead and explore a little bit here. So it uh, looks like we've got uh, the cues game here. No, I didn't want to get locked to the table just yet. Let's get off that table. So we've got our video games lined up around the back wall here. I wonder if any of these are playable. Uh, they did have a couple of playable games. Yep. Let's see here. Oh. What do I do? Oh, well. But uh, yeah, they do have a couple of playable games in here. Um, let's see. No, not that one. So looks like that one might be the only one. In the other pool hall, they had the, uh, the frog game. Oh, wait. Here we go. Super Sculptor. <laughs> All right, sweet. I sculpted a rabbit. So, you know, very cool that we've got some little hidden mini games up in here. Um, Let's see here, we got the bar over here and uh, the leaderboard back there. So, all right, let's go ahead and uh, get the game started here. So, looks like we're going to be playing against Sly Pockets. Uh, he's an easy uh, difficulty. Um, so probably shouldn't have too much trouble knocking him off. Now you can set some different uh, settings here so you can set target lines, which that is actually what I was talking about in the tutorial. So we can turn those target lines off. Uh, we, we actually can do the where you have to call your pocket and we can put a shot clock on. I think I'm going to go ahead and turn the target lines off just to make this a little more interesting, but we'll leave these two off as well. All right, let's see who wins the coin toss. And looks like he won, so he gets to break. Oh, all right, he's already sunk a solid there. Yeah, way to go, buddy. Woohoo! Boy, you're you're loving it. All right. And wow, you didn't hit nothing. <laughs> so, well, it did say he was the easy AI. Uh, oh, I get to to place my ball here. So there we go. What, what happened? Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, there we go. So, all right, you know, and I was, I was, I, that's great that I saw that. So, you know, it obviously didn't show me that in the tutorial that we can turn those lines off. Like I was saying during the tutorial phase, that, that would have made it just a little too easy to play here. So... Definitely want a little bit of challenge. Okay. Oh, don't scratch. Don't scratch. Ooh, man, that was close. <laughs> Did you even try to hit anything? gonna bounce off that corner let's see if I can bounce it into that pocket down there nope okay man got all my balls jumbled up here Ah, 
No good. Maybe I should have turned the lines back on. I don't know. Then again, he ain't doing too much better. Oh, sweet. Okay. There we go. I'll take it. I'm on the board with two. Um, kind of got myself boxed in here, though. Oh, I sunk one of his balls. Damn it. Just tied it up. Not good. <laughs> I love the way he claps. <laughs> All right, sly pockets. Oh, set me up. Oh, perfect. You are my hero, sir. Just a little kiss. There we go. A little kiss. Don't scratch. Okay. So, you know, I got to say, the, the action of the balls on the table is really good. Nice and fluid. Um, again, though, I just, I don't know. There's something about trying to get used to this stick. It's just killing me. No. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, oh, well. No, okay, fine. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, oh, nice, okay. That's, that's got a good shot. There, sweet. All right, back in the lead. Let's see, do I have a shot anywhere? I do not. Let's see if I can bank it. Oh, off the table. That's a freaking foul. Oh no, sly pockets. You're going to win. I'm going to get beaten by the... Oh, no. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice. You just set me right up. Right there. Sweet. Okay. No! God! Dang. Yes, okay. And I got one of mine. That's okay. All right, lose my turn. Took a foul, but still in the lead. Aha, and he scratched. Beautiful. All right, buddy. There we go. You want to move out of my way, sir? Just a little gentle tap. There we go. All right. Here we go. Just got to sink that eight ball. Not really lined up for a good shot, though. All right. I got this. I got this. Come on. Yes. Yes. Line me up. Oh, he got the... Oh, you... Yeah, you, you, whatever. Come on, line up that shot, line it up. Okay. No! No, 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 no. Ah. Okay. Got us a barn burner going on. It's a 
Nice little tap. Nice little tap. Mmm! So close. Okay. Can I do it? Come on, baby. This is for the win. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! He shoots. He scores. Perfect. Yep. That's what I'm talking about. Uh -oh. All right. So there we go. I won. I beat Sly Pockets here without the assist on the table. That's the first time I've actually played without the assist. So I think we're going to go ahead and cap it here for the night, guys. It, you know, I don't really know of anything else I can show you in this game other than the multiplayer. And yeah, I'm not really going to do that with some strangers in the middle of the night on a video. So uh, for me, that is going to do it tonight, guys. I, you know, my final thoughts on this, though, the only thing I don't like about this game I just wish that again I could just grab the stick and actually shoot and play and hold the stick where I want it so I'm not so choked up on the front of it um, you know that would have made this a little bit more of an enjoyable experience but overall it was still enjoyable I still had fun playing this I would love to play this with my friends so you know if you want to play this and you want to play this with your friends I am gonna leave links for this in the description so if it's something that it floats your boat if you got a quest too if you got a quest pro grab a copy yeah you probably won't be disappointed as in all the other four vr games they, they've all got their charm and they they definitely do not disappoint but for me that is going to do it tonight guys thank you so much for watching to the end of this video if you made it this far and if this was your first time coming by the channel as i always say do me three solids on your way out the door smash that like hit subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified the next time i do something cool in virtual reality and if you've already done all that guys thank you so so much we're so close to my 10,000 goal now Really hoping to hit that by the end of the year. Got a little over a month to go, and we only have 230 subscribers left. So please do me a solid. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your grandma, tell your cousins, aunts, uncles, I don't care. Just have them subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. But I'm out. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.